Hi friends, my name is Nandita. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Good morning dear students. Today we are going to discuss about locomotion and movement from chapter 20 biology class 11 CBSE syllabus. Children let us discuss about sternum. The sternum or breastbone is a vertical bone that resembles a partial T shape. It forms the front of the rib cage and it is connected to the ribs by cartilage. It is a flat, narrow and elongated bone of chest. It is commonly called breastbone. It is absent in fish, reptile and associated with pectoral griddle in amphibian. In man, it is made up of cervical manubrium, miso sternum and cephoids process etc. Children, let us discuss the structure and anatomy of sternum. The structure of the sternum consists of the following three sternum parts, which first one is called manubrium. The first part of the sternum is the manubrium, which is the top part and includes your collarbone. At this, the topmost ribs connect and the bottom of the manubrium shares a broader with the other parts of the sternum. At the bottom of it, your second set of ribs of your body also connects. Now let us discuss about second part of the sternum which is also called body. The middle part of the sternum is also known as the body and it is the longest part. It connects with manubrium at the top and to the xiphoid process at the bottom. You have often heard with the word cartilage that is present in the part of the sternum and here your third set of ribs to the seventh set connects with the help of cartilage. The xiphoid process, the bottom part of the sternum is also known as xiphoid process. The shape of its part can differ from the individual to individual and as your age increases, the xiphoid process of the sternum slowly begins to calcify. Now let us discuss the functions of sternum. One of the significant functions of the sternum is to protect lungs, blood vessels and heart from any kind of injury and it's one of the longest and largest flat bones present in our body. There are two major type of functions of the sternum in our body and those are as follows. First one is support. One of the most significant function of the sternum is providing support to the chest and the upper abdomen of our body. It provides support to the ribcage and collarbone of your body and many other parts of your skeletal system. Protection. The sternum is present in the center of your chest and there are many organs near this area such as the heart, lungs, blood vessels, etc. So it protects them from all kinds of injury.